Hi everybody, it's Luke here from LT Gaming, and today we're doing something a bit different. I'm playing some VR, and we're going to check out Eternal Starlight. So, welcome. Welcome to my command station among the stars, or Proxima Station Terran Defense Forces. We can see what's happening out the window there. It's a nice ship sailing towards that. A bit close to that sun, I would say, but it's all good. Um, you'll have to excuse the mic quality. Obviously, I'm recording natively on the Quest 2. But hopefully it will come across clear enough and the balancing is correct. This is... Okay, we can move around, which is pretty cool. So, what is Eternal Starlight? It's a strategy game in VR. It's really cool. It does have a roguelite element to the game, which makes it interesting and unique. But it really is cool to play a space game or strategy-based space game like this in VR. I already am in the middle of a game, so let's get into it and we'll check it out. Here we go. So here's my ship that I'm traveling on in space. It's pretty cool. Incoming message. And basically you travel throughout the universe doing mes uh, missions in a roguelike setting. And eventually you'll see it's like FTL in the sense that there are an invading space force that are coming to take out my system. And I travel around doing missions until they invade and then I take out their attacks. So anyway, it's telling me to do this. Here's my ship with all my modifications. And if we look at the missions, you can see the enemy are so many days away. We have missions here, let's go back a second. They are literally very, very close to my home system, so I have a couple of missions to do before the boss fight. I've already beat one boss fight in this mode. So yeah, here we go, one turn until they arrive. You make allies and relations with different people who can give you bonuses. I completed 16 missions in this run. Now I should be able to get one more side mission in before they arrive, so let's have a look. Strange signals, okay. It might not be that one. What about this one? Again, I so it's easy, let's go for this. So you'll see what I mean when I get into the game. We arrive here and we should get a transmission. Receiving transmission. Detect a derelict vessel should we investigate, of course. Discover some usable technology. Oh, great, so I didn't actually have to do anything. I just got a Vulcan, so we can have a look at that. It's a weapon. Okay, cool. You can look at the different weapons that I can put put on my ship and the damage modifiers and different things that can do that. Hopefully. Okay, we've no turns, we're gonna have to take on the enemy at the home base. So you're gonna get to see me defend Proxima 2. It's going to be a hard mission, and it's a boss fight, basically. If you die, you go all the way back to the beginning. As you can see, this is my fleet. I have two ships in my fleet currently. I just think it's a really, really cool concept, and they're adding stuff to the ship. Okay, the second wave is here. They're coming in large numbers this time. We're on our way. We did not think your pitiful species was capable of putting up a fight. We will not make the same mistake again. Remove your people from this world or force face extinction. We don't give up so Here we go. So we're gonna go into the actual game. Here we go, welcome to the battlefield. You can see the enemy over there. These are my ships and Proxima Station. Okay, we need to, we need to do something about these guys. So we're gonna, we should be fine. So I can slow down time as you can see. I can zoom in and out. I can get right on top of my ships. Like I can get this close and look around. As you can see, my bullets are in slow motion, giving this guy a bit of a hiding. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag this guy. Should come, that's not my ship. That might help if I pick my actual ship, right? We have our fighters here. Let's go. Okay, we got him. So the enemy, this is the bigger enemy ship here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab this guy and we're gonna bring a fusion beam out to meet him. You might see the Guardians as we call it. Okay, that's him getting absolutely smashed. We have an energy torpedo on this ship. So let's bring this ship up slightly higher, but back. Let's bring my ship out, and we'll wait for the second attack here. There's going to be more. As you can see, I have fighters as well, which are escorting my ship. And we're protecting Proxima. No sign of the enemy. Oh, here we go. Whoa! 
Let's get that with an energy torpedo if we can. Let's do that. That's a pretty big ship, alright. Oh, okay, in port. There's another one of these ships here. We are basically out with heavy weapons. Hopefully our ships don't get destroyed here. Wait for the fusion beam to come back in six seconds. Oh, the shields are down on him. We've got him, I think. Ship destroyed. Nice, good firepower here. Let's get this fusion beam to him. As you can see, it's pretty cool. So I'm walking around the battlefield right now. Brilliant good stuff. Okay, sector cleared. We did it. So we have cleared the second boss. I should get some bonuses for that. So as you can see, let me show you. You can move around. You can zoom right into the station so I can get right next to them, which is amazing. As you can see now, I have much better detail on this asteroid field. I can zoom out and back to my ship. I think it's just an awesome use of VR, which I haven't seen a lot of games do very well yet. It's really, really fun. So that was a pretty quick, hectic boss fight. Let's end the mission. I'm back at my... I'm a bit closer. Let's reset this. I lost two ships. Okay, I destroyed three. I think I lost fighters, because I had four fighters, so I lost two of them in that battle. It's not too bad. Okay. Time is short. Great work, Captain. We did it again. Thank you, Admiral. All ships repaired. I don't want to alarm you. Third way, this one is different. We've detected something big in the fleet. Okay, cool. If we're going to secure allies, we need to do it now. Okay, I won't let you down, Admiral. I'm granting you access to the station store. Be sure to purchase any equipment you need using the resources you have collected. We've been doing a good job out there. Some of the other races have allowed us to purchase their advanced equipment. Thank you, Admiral. That's because I've been going around doing missions and making friends with them, so you can see my relationships here. I can actually buy extra ships to add to my fleet. Oh, I earned an achievement. That's awesome. So I can have a look here. Cyber Recon. Light Bearer. Arbiter. Missile Frigate. That sounds good to me. I can add it to my fleet. Um, I can also buy weapons for my ships if I need them. Ships. Mods. So these mods I can add to different weapons, like increase the range of weapons, damage mod, and when I go to my fleet, for instance, I've added a damage mod to this heavy mag cannon, increases the damage. I have all these other special weapons that I can use, proton torpedoes, but I do have quite a lot in my inventory, so I probably will end up selling some of this. So, proton torpedo, it's a weapon. Sounds pretty cool. So the mag does... 0.1, sorry, 0.5, proton torpedo does six, torpedo even, does six times two. So, if I attach that in there, I now have a proton torpedo, it's plated with an upgrade, which means that it's, it's defended, so I think that looks like a pretty cool, it's got 60 kilometer range, that's a 40 kilometer range, I feel like that's a big upgrade. Probably sell, I'm gonna sell the fold. Okay, cool. Point of fence. That might be useful. Of course, I have my other ship here, which is like an explorer, I think it's called. Don't see the name of the ship. I think it's an explorer. Yeah, explorer upgrade. So I can upgrade the ship as well with different strengths. So there's a lot to do in this game. It's a lot of fun. I'm going to show you one more battle. I'm going to go back and return to the main screen because I wasn't actually expecting to do that boss fight so they're adding I think there's an update coming 1.3 where they're going to add an endless mode which takes away the roguelite and just lets you go on and on which is awesome because I think when I beat that third boss I think that's the end but it's it's really fun and I'm having a great time with it so anyway I've been Luke from LT Gaming make sure to like and subscribe and as always I'll see you on the next one